Well, hello everybody. In this video, I'll show you how to set up a Velocity network in under five minutes. I'm not going to be rambling about any goddamn hosting company. I'm not going to be rambling about my personal backstory. We're just going to be cracking into business. Let's go. First of all, I assume you're new, that's why you're watching this video, to quickly explain what Velocity is. It is a software that runs as a microserver, but it connects different microservers together. I connect to Velocity and then Velocity acts as a proxy so that when I connect to Velocity, it automatically redirects me to different microservers and it also lets you create plugins for Velocity, which connects uh, connect microservers together so, such that you can see the same chat from your survival to your creative or factions server, for example. Now, let's go. Let's get down to business. How to install Velocity. And this video is also going to cover a cracked mode or offline mode, if you will, although it's not gonna cover a Forge or Fabric. This video is specifically for paper. If you need the other installations, please just read the official documentation. So how do you get Velocity? Head over to papermc.io, go to Safer Velocity, hit downloads, and get the latest paper uh, Velocity jar. Now, how to install that? you got to use your whatever you want hosting company. I'm just going to be installing this locally. And if I want to install it locally, you can actually go to mineacademy.org slash endpoint and you can grab our launching script that is going to actually download uh, the latest version of Velocity on your computer automatically each time you start it. So I'm just going to get over, uh, copy the Windows script, create a new folder on my desktop, paste the Windows script right here, make sure that I change Velocity right here, and I'm gonna go with the 3.3.0 snapshot version, which is the same as you can see on the website, just make sure to replace dots with underscores. Now, this method, I do only recommend using our endpoint when you are running this locally. If you're running a hosting server, you need to be downloading the jar. I think it's safer than, you know, dealing with new changes in the background uh, that are being automatically installed without you knowing. All right, first time started, that's great. After, just close it. And now, now you're gonna see a bunch of files. First of all, we need to open up Velocity Tomo. And here we need to pay attention to the bend. So this one is basically the IP address where your Velocity is located. You should be able to get that from your hosting company. Although if it's something like that, you can just type in IP pinger, and then you can just ping that domain you can enter domain right here and you're going to get the ip that you need to paste it right here the port needs to be either on your computer something that is open not blocked by firewall firewall or if you are behind a network if you're running this online on a hosting company then of course you should get it from the, that company itself all right M message of the day is whatever is displayed in my multiplayer menu such as hypixel i'm just going to keep it to test velocity server Mix players, I'll keep it as it is. Online mode should be on true. If you want to run cracked, we are going to get it to false. However, I'm just going to keep it on true. Force key authentication doesn't really matter. Uh, prevent client proxy connections, no. And then player in for forwarding. So that one is important. If you leave it at none, the no forwarding will be done and all players will be appear to be connecting from the velocity itself and are going to have their unique ids messed up which is going to cause issues with a lot of plugins that deal with unique ids so what do we want to do we want to go and type in modern here if you are on micro 1.13 and higher otherwise i do recommend you go with either legacy or even better you install bungee gourd you configure bungee gourd if you're still using 1.8.8 .8, and you type in bungee gourd right there then the secret file, I'm going to cover later. Just make sure do not delete that and do not change that later on. And then down here, we're going to configure our server. So I only have two servers. First one is just a simple 1.20 test server. Let me just open up the server.properties. Let me get the server port, which is right here. It's 25565. And I'm going to call this server a survival server. There we go. And again, you need to change the IP address to whatever your hosting company provides you. The other server I have, and I'm just going to do the same right here. I'll call it a flat server and then i simply paste the 12345 port these are just running on my own computer so all i have to do make sure that the firewall doesn't block them and i should be good to go now make sure to change the try right here this is in what order we should try the servers when a player logs in or it's kicked from a server so i'm gonna try connecting first to the survival and if that is offline i want to connect to the flat now a forced host i'm not going to be dealing with configuration of this so let's just delete that what do you need to do then open up the forwarding 
that secret file. You can open up it with any text editor, copy the content of it. It looks like a simple passport. And then what do we want to do? We want to head out to our paper file, which is located under config paper global for, I believe, modern Minecraft versions. That is 1.18 plus. If you are still stuck, stuck on 1.8.8, then it is going to be somewhere here called paper.yml. Anyways, open the paper global file. We're going to head over, find velocity section under proxies, head over, type in enabled to true. And then this is a little catch. So if you type in online mode to true on velocity, you need to enable online mode right here and then we need to actually go to the server properties and then find the online mode key right here and make sure that this is false okay it's a little bit of a trick if you do want to have online mode you need to enable it on velocity enable it in paper global and disable it in server properties and then the secret key you're just going to paste right in here there we go guys now if i boot up velocity and i booted these two other servers can see now it actually kicks me out from it prevents me from directly connecting to the backend servers which is as it should very very secure solution and i have to only use the proxy to uh, be able to connect just like that and then you are able to see a bunch of extra commands such as server let's just see if everything is working properly let me type in server flat and i should be able to be redirected into the flat server and if i type in survival oh, there we go i'm back at the old server again all right guys that was it for the quick tutorial if anything doesn't work please use your common sense probably an option or two have been updated look at the official documentation or simply comment below and i'll be happy to have a look and help you out head over to mineacademy.org if you need help actually running a network if you are a network admin and you want to learn java you want to learn minecraft plugins and you want to get more players and build an amazing network check out the courses there they're there to help you they contain not only videos but they also contain live zoom coaching calls and we are the only players in the industry who do that which is pretty damn cool anyways i promise this video to be rent free so that's about it signing off and take care